Hey friends, this is Nate with Exley Apiaries. Welcome to lesson five. This is the last lesson of our five lesson beginner beekeeper series. We're calling it Beekeeping 101, Beekeeping Crash Course. Uh, lesson one was over bee society. We looked a little bit about, looked into the three kinds of bees that are in a hive and also how they operate and the different components that are inside of this box when we keep it. Lesson two, we looked at pests and diseases. Some of the common things you need to be looking out for as far as parasites that will be working on your bees or different diseases that they might encounter. We also dove into some of the biosecurity that you want to have in your apiary. That was lesson two. Lesson three, we looked at the hive types. We talked about the Langstroth hive, we talked about observation hives, top bar hives, war a hives. That was a fun lesson. I really enjoyed that one. Lesson four was about honey and money, how you might be able to monetize your hive. In this last lesson, we're going to be looking at how to take your package of bees that you ordered, hopefully by now, taking your package of bees and installing it in the hive. Now we're going to do this as a dry run. As you can tell, I do not have a live package of bees here with me, but I do have an old one from a previous installation. Unfortunately, I don't have all the parts with me, but it's just for observation purposes, demonstration purposes, so we'll just roll with it. Uh, the things that you're going to need to get started when you're installing your package of bees is your veil, obviously. You can have your gloves with you. Um, I would, if you're a beginner beekeeper, use your gloves. If you're a little bit more seasoned, you probably already know it already, but these guys that are in your package are going to be very docile. They don't have anything to protect, so uh, their level of aggression is going to be very low. and You most likely won't need your gloves. You also need your hive tool. I have my handy dandy chisel standing in for my hive tool today. And then also a spray bottle of sugar water. Just use a one-to-one -one sugar water. You're going to use it to wet the wings of your bees to help keep them from flying around and getting all excited because really you want them all to go into this box. So those are the main tools you're going to need. As far as putting on your veil goes, people have different kinds of veils. This veil has a string coming out of the back. It has a D-ring on the front. Now I sewed this D-ring on myself because it didn't come with one. If your veil didn't come with one, go ahead and put one on there because it's tremendously helpful. Usually when you buy your veil and your hat, they come separately. They don't come together. So if you've ordered a veil and you aren't sure if you've ordered a hat, make sure to go and look at the description where you purchased. See if a hat's coming with it because you're going to need a hat. Some folks like to use a floppy safari hat or a cowboy hat. Those can work. I prefer to use the plastic day damp hat because it's made to fit that veil. So it's got less, less holes in it. All right, so what I just did there is I had the string coming off the back. The string coming off the back. Bring these strings around to the front, put them together, and put that through them. Put these through the D-ring, just like that. Tighten it up a little bit. This is going to keep this string here tight against your shoulder, so that way no bees are going to come in under your veil. Like I mentioned earlier. They're just in that package. They don't have a lot to guard. They're not going to be very aggressive. So it's not too much to worry about. But still, things to consider for later on. So you bring it around your back, cross it over your front, and then tie it in a bow. Now this veil is about 13 years old. So I'm a little more portly than I was. Oh, actually, 15 something years. I'm a little more portly than when I first started beekeeping. I started beekeeping when I was 13. So I can just barely make that bow on there. Tie it in the front. I find it a lot more convenient to have it up here than in the back. When you're trying to fish around and get it undone when you got bees flying around you. Next, take your package of bees. And just uh, a quick disclaimer here if you have not ordered your bees yet, you need to do that right now. It is December 2020, and uh, usually you want to have your orders in for bees in about October or November. So right about now is when the suppliers are actually running out of bees. 
and they'll be delivering mine. I ordered mine in October, had to bump something back. They'll be delivering them in April. And earlier dates can have it can be er, earlier dates are in March. Uh, so I'll be installing mine in April, but that's just a quick aside. When you do get your B package, it's going to come in this wire box here. It'll have a lid over the top of it, and this lid will be stapled to your box. So take your hive tool. Pry up that lid, and don't worry, bees aren't going to come flying out when you pop this lid off. But pry your lid off. It's going to be stapled down. Pop it off. And this hole is going to have a can in it. Right now, it's open. It's because I've taken my can out. This is an old package, like I mentioned. But when you get your package, that package is going to come with a can of sugar water that's going to sit right in this hole right here. And that's what's going to be feeding them during the long trip to you. You'll also notice that out of that hole will have come a yellow strap, some sort of tie. That strap is holding the queen cage. So what you do next, you'll want to take your hive tool, set this, I'm doing this closer so that way y'all can see it better, but have this set down on a firm surface. Take your hive tool, wedge out that can, pull the can out, and then that's when it's going to expose the bees. So, what you'll do is as you're pulling that can out, you'll have your lid back in your hand, or in front of you. Pull that can out. As you're pulling it out, take your lid, pop it back over that hole as soon as your sugar water can is out. Then set the sugar water can up here in front of your hive because it's going to have bees all over it. Now you can come back here and take out your queen cage. So the first step, take off the lid. Second step, take out the can. Third step is taking out the queen cage. So edge your lid over, lid over to the side here. You're going to have to undo the staple that's holding the queen cage. Undo the staple and hold on to that strap so that way that queen cage doesn't fall down to the bottom of your, your box. Move that lid to the side. Take out your queen cage. Replace the lid set your package to the side. So now you've got your queen in the box and it's going to be a little square package with a screen on top. You'll see her wandering around in there with a few worker bees. Check sure and make sure that first she's alive and also that she's in good condition. If she's really puny, you might want to get with your supplier about her and make note of that. Take a picture so that way if she, uh, if she dies afterwards and insta uh, after installation, then you can go back to your provider and be like, you know, this, this was the queen you sent me. This is not a good quality queen, and they'll probably reimburse you for that. So you've got your queen cage with the nurse bees in there. Now go to your hive, which is empty, and take it apart. Got your lid, top board, your super. Set your super aside. You're not going to need it. Queen excluder, set your queen excluder aside. You're not going to need it. Now you just have your deep, your bottom board, and your entrance reducer. Take that queen cage and either put it right on top of these frames or right in between them. And beekeepers will do it differently. I would recommend that you take that cage and lay it flat right here because if you hang it in between the frames, with the sugar plug down, then there's a small likelihood that one of the nurse bees that's in that cage with her will die, fall into that hole that's at the bottom of the cage where the candy is sitting, where they would normally eat her out. That nurse bee could fall in that hole and just keep them all stuck in there because they can't, they won't be able to remove the body. I neglected to mention that that queen cage is gonna have a candy plug at one end where they'll eat, eat her out. That candy plug may or may not be covered by a little cork if it is covered by a cork, take the cork out. The reason for the candy plug is it's kind of a timed exit. So the bees on the outside will be eating their way in, the bees on the inside of the cage will be eating their way out, and that will allow, it'll take them a couple of days to free her from that cage, and during that time her pheromone will get to go throughout the hive and make everybody acquainted with their new queen and make them more likely to accept her. So just make sure you take out the cork if there is a cork. You only want that candy plug left between her and the outside world. So now you take your queen cage, 
Let's say it, set it down flat here. Take your top board if you have one of these, lay it down over the top. This is the way it's going to go together. Don't, don't do this just yet, but for the sake of demonstration, this is how it's going to come back together. But once you put your bees in, you'll put your lid on. But I'm ahead of myself. You've got your queen cage to the side. You've got your package full of bees. Go ahead and take out some of these frames on the inside. Set them aside. You will need them again, so leave them where you can quickly access them. Now take your package, and we're going to install your package first. Spray them down with sugar water. Now this is just to get their wings wet. Don't drown them. You just want to get their wings wet so they're not flying around. The next thing that you want to do, and don't, don't panic, take it and slam it down on the top of the hive. When you do that, it knocks the bulk of the bees down to the bottom. Take off the lid. Now you can turn it over, shake them in there, shake it around, set it to the front. Whatever bees are left in that box are going to crawl out and go into the entrance. Now take your queen cage, set it on top of the frames, replace your frames that you took out. Now we're going quickly here, and the reason for that is because the longer this takes, the more the bees are going to fly around. Make sure it's all positioned well. Make sure your queen cage is front and center. No cork in it. Now replace it all. Do it go slowly. Put it all back on top. And you've installed your package. The bees that are left in that box are going to climb out. They're going to recognize the box. They're also going to smell the pheromone of the queen. And that's going to draw the rest of them into the hive. So if you've got a few left in there, that's all right. Don't worry about it. But that's how you install a package. If y'all have enjoyed watching my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and as always, leave your questions in the comments below or on our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page at Exley Apiary, and uh, I'm happy to entertain questions there. I appreciate y'all sticking with me through this series. Come back for more. We'll be doing open apiary days when I do get my bees in the spring, and uh, we're going to have lots of fun. I'm looking forward to it.